Hi, I'm Erin Basso with Faber Castell. Today I'm going to show you how to make this card using this beautiful little girl on there. Um, so to get started, we're going to take our piece of paper, and this is five inches by three and a half, and we'll put it onto our MISTI and use our little magnets to hold it in place. And I'm going to use the Stamper's Big Brush Pen and just the side of it to get good coverage over my whole stamp. Okay, now that we have her all inked up, we're ready to stamp. And I love using the Misty for this because, you know, I'm not sure if I colored every little spot. So if I happen to make a mistake, I can just touch it up and re-stamp it. There we go. Now we'll just give it a second to dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to take another piece of paper and re-stamp just the flowers this time. It doesn't have to be the whole girl. And we're gonna fussy cut these out after we color them all in, and then we'll pop dot it onto the face of our card. I'm only gonna do these big flowers, not those little puffy ones. So the great thing about this ink is that it's permanent once it's dry, so we can use our uh, water brush right over it and uh, it's not gonna smear. So we'll put that one aside to dry. And now I'm gonna do my little sentiment too while I have everything out. I'll just pop this girl off and add this one in. And really I can have this be anywhere. It doesn't need to be lined up perfect because I'm gonna cut right around it. Awesome. Okay, so those will dry. Now I went ahead and made a little cheat sheet when I was playing with colors. Uh, that way I know exactly what color I wanna do her face and her hair and everything else. Um, so you can follow along with that. I have the iced chai and I'm gonna need to use that um, plus cinnamon for her skin color. So those two will be her skin. And for her hair, I'm gonna use the iced coffee. Um, all these iced colors have a metallic shimmer in it, so it's really pretty um, when it's done. So we got iced coffee for her hair. For her eyes, we're also gonna use iced coffee with a touch of pistachio, because I have green eyes. I tend to always put green eyes on my girls. And then um, for her lips, we're going to use some iced currant. For the flowers, we're going to use red cherry and metallic grape. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started coloring her in. Okay, so now we're ready to do her skin, and I'm gonna scooch these out of the way and get that iced chai and the cinnamon, and I'm gonna just rub them right onto my craft mat. Okay, I'm using my water brush for this, and this is the deluxe water brush, so when I squeeze it right there, water comes from the barrel down into the tip. And you can see it's nice and wet now, and I'll just rub that around, making it into a watercolor. And now I can start applying it to her face. Now, just like anyone's face, and especially if you apply makeup, you might um, know the contouring of um, the face, how it looks. You're always gonna have it be a slightly darker above the hairline, um, because you're gonna have the shadow from your hair. Um, you know, your cheekbones are gonna be lighter. Um, you can even give her um, some blush on it as well. And under the chin is gonna be darker too. So we're gonna start off light and then we'll add um, other layers of it right over the, to the top of it to darken it up. Okay, now I'm gonna pick up some of the cinnamon too. And I don't wanna to use too much, but I do want it to add some color to it. So now let's go on to her hair, and for that I'm gonna use some iced coffee. Now her hair is textured, so I'm gonna do like circular motions, and so if I get any brush marks or anything, it just looks exactly like I meant it to be textured. And again, with your hair, it's not all stark one color, so you want it to have variations based on the lighting. And the more water you add to your gelatos, the more it will dilute it, so if you need it to be a stronger color, you can use it directly from the tip or just don't dilute it as much. Okay, 
Let's use some of the iced coffee for her eyes. And there's not really a lot to color in there. Okay, so let's move on to her lips. And we're gonna use the iced currant for that one. Give her nice, beautiful, shimmery look, lips. And I want it to be fairly concentrated, so I'm not using a very wet brush, keeping it on the drier side. Okay, so for the flowers, these red ones are gonna be covered up with the other ones that we stamped. Um, so we're just gonna get around the outside of them, um, but the purple ones, the metallic grape, will color all the way through. So I'm gonna rub some of the red cherry out onto my mat since I'm gonna use quite a bit. And I just wanna do just around the edges cause that's probably the only part that's gonna peek out. Okay, now we'll get out the metallic grape for those little puffy flowers. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water from my water brush into it. And just mix those up and then you can paint them right in. Okay, for the leaves, I'm gonna use more of that pistachio and I wanna make sure my brush is really cleaned off. So make sure you squeeze out some water and clean your brush all the way off. You don't wanna transfer that purple. Okay, so we'll use some pistachio for that. And I'm gonna go back and shade in all these uh, leaves with um, some of the green of the chromium green opaque of the Stamper's Big Brush pen. Okay, so the pistachio looks good. Let's scribble some of this out. We'll pick some up and you can just shade in any parts that you feel like would be a little bit more green. And since it's still nice and wet, it will just spread all out, mix up with that pistachio gelatos. Okay, so we're gonna color in our flowers now and I'm going to take the red cherry gelatos and rub it right over the top of it. And that way it'll give it a nice intense color. And I'll just use my same water brush to spread it around. And it's okay if you go outside the lines here because we're gonna be cutting it out. Okay, so we finished coloring those in and now we can cut them out. So we'll just fussy cut them with your scissors. And you don't need to get any of the leaves or anything. Okay, so now that we have our flowers all cut out, we're ready to stick them right on there. And I'm just gonna use some foam adhesive for that. And just line it up as best you can right over your flowers. And it just pops them right up. Gorgeous. Okay, let's mount that onto our card base. I'm just gonna fold my card in half. Okay, so we'll just add some adhesive to the back of our card front. And center her up. And now we have our sentiment that we're gonna cut out with our mini scallop scissors. Okay, and for this, I want to kind of give it that inked edge look, and I'm going to use my ice chai for that one. And I love the ice chai because it has that glimmer to it of the metallic. Okay, so now we'll just put some adhesive on the back side of that. And let's see, how about right here? Tuck it under the flower. And there's our finished card ready to give to a friend. Thanks so much for joining us at scrapbook.com.